biggest advantages to the EME cloud is that you don't have to relearn somebody else's version of how you should run applications, and you don't have to learn their version of how you should store your data. So let's take a look at how EME Cloud makes your life easy. We simply click on the cloud and let's pick the online storage viewer. As you can see, when the online storage viewer launches, we have complete application access to all files in a fashion most of us are used to working in. We place the control of access to files in your hands so you can have various users see only the files you want them to see. The ability to access local drives is also in your control, and that is selected on a per-user basis. In addition, every user is given 20 gigabytes of private storage with an easy-to-use, pre-configured directory structure that looks just like your local desktop. If you notice, the files look just like you're used to viewing them. In fact, if you wish to change the views, you can simply go out and change to whichever format you would like to be able to look at these files in. Now, isn't that great? So, what stops someone from accidentally, or heaven forbid, deliberately copying a virus and running it on the cloud? Well. We at EME Cloud prevent this by doing three different checks on each and every application that's run from the cloud. First and foremost, we create a unique checksum file that's built on MD5 for the application. This checksum file is a unique identifier for every given application. Second, we look to see if the file name is correct for the known application. And finally, we make sure that the file size is an exact match. If all three of these match, then the application can run. I'm going to attempt to put an application in here by pasting it directly into the sales directory. We call this the Google Crash Handler. Sounds pretty dangerous, doesn't it? If we click on the application and try to launch it, we get this message that warns us that we need to contact our system administrator in order to run this application. This prevents us from getting viruses up in the cloud. To bring up any file here, you simply double click the application and it'll bring up the application in the file just like you're used to running them. This way you can modify them, work with them just like you've been used to on your local machine. You can also launch applications right from the tablet and work from them here. In this case, we're going to bring up Microsoft Word and launch that application and create our quarterly sales report. I now want to cut and paste so I can actually take this graphic. I can right click and copy it. I can go over here and I can even use the shortcuts of Control C and Control V in order to put the graphic directly in here. If you'll notice, this works well for cloud applications, but we can also do this for local applications. Let's bring up a local copy of Excel and we're going to cut and paste this particular graphic here. So once again, I'm going to copy the graphic. I'm going to go over to my Word document and I'm going to paste the graphic directly in there. It's that easy to be able to cut and paste both from local or the cloud. I then can actually save this document in the cloud, putting it into my sales folder for my new quarterly sales report. I am now finished, ready to run.